Eric Darling here, uh, still stuck in this dead end job at Darling Data, or Eric Darling Data, whatever that, <coughs> whatever that idiot named the company. Uh, and uh, I think was it a week ago? Maybe a week. Maybe it was a week ago. It could it could very well have been a week ago. I recorded uh, a video showing uh, a a race between a, a store procedure that uses a temp table and a store procedure that uses a table variable under very high concurrency and found, interestingly, that the much maligned table variable did indeed get off to... did, did indeed cross the finish line much, much faster. The full 30 seconds faster. But of course, you know, uh, table variables do have a lot of downsides and uh, I, I covered them in that video but you know there's there's stuff that there's stuff about them that can be unattractive at times and uh, SQL Server 2019 offers us this lovely new feature where we can put some uh, tempdb metadata uh, in memory uh, by in memory I mean using the hecatonish uh, in memory file group stuff for um, some of the views in TempDB. Uh, there's, there's lots of uh, information about uh, which ones are in there, and I have a feeling that uh, more are going to end up there. So I'm not going to list them all now because that list will qu quickly be uh, inaccurate, and uh, I don't want, I don't, I don't need any more inaccuracies in my, in my video. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave that alone. Uh, you can, you can read whatever current documentation, whatever documentation is current uh, when you watch this, because you are going to watch this, because you have no choice, because you. Are also stuck in your dead end job. Just not at Darling, Eric Darling, yeah, Darling, Eric Data. <laughs> Dead. Uh, so, just to recap a little bit what we do here, uh, we have our, our first store procedure up here that uses a temp table. Uh, we create a temp table, we insert some stuff into the temp table, and then that's it. We just create it, dump it in. That's all. Uh, and then one down here where we uh, declare a table variable and insert into the table variable, and then that's it. That's that's all we do. It's the end of the road. Uh, to to wrap those up nice and neat and make calling them from an outside application easier, uh, I have this store procedure that uh, wraps both of them in, uh, uh, up and uh, gets us a number to pass into them, and then executes one or the other based on whatever we pass in here. So if we do that, we do that. If we do that, we do that. Good. So uh, what I have. SQL Server 2019 is, of course, this lovely, lovely new setting. TempDB metadata memory optimized. Our value in use is one. That means it's been enabled. Uh, and now let's see how things turn out this time around. Uh, this time, though, I want to run the table variable test first because I want to see if we can do any better. So remember, if remember last time, this finished in about eight seconds. So let's see if the in-memory stuff helps the temp uh, table variable. So I'm going to hit that. I'm going to go over to this window when SP who is active and just kind of watch stuff go through. And the wait info column is still going to be remarkably empty. And ooh, we are done. Ooh la la, how long did that take? That took 7.599. So ooh, I don't know, what is that, a 400 millisecond or so difference? I don't know. I don't think that that was very helpful. So it looks like table variables are still uh, still fast, but the, the new feature doesn't really help them spin any faster. Now let's go back and let's test temp tables because remember last time temp tables took about 38 seconds, nearly 40 seconds to run. So let's get uh, who is active ready. Let's, uh, let's clear that screen so we have no bias or judgment going on there. And we'll kick that off and let's see what SP who is active tells us. Ooh, the wait info column here is null. We are not seeing all those page latch EX weights. And uh, we're, we're going, we're going, and we're done. And that was not 38 seconds, was it? That was 11.7 seconds. So pretty cool that uh, under real high concurrency, um, we can get much better uh, temp table performance from SQL Server 2019 with our fancy uh, in-memory uh, tempdb metadata feature. So that's nice. I like that. I enjoy that. And I look forward to, um, you know, being able to use temp tables all willy nilly <laughs> as soon as everyone just goes ahead and goes, goes ahead and upgrades to 2019 or all your problems are solved. And you won't, probably, won't even, probably won't even need me anymore. I can go, go pursue my dreams of getting out of this dead end job. And I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll open a bar on the beach in Bora Bora. And we'll look into that. 